Hey everyone on YouTube, just thought I'd show you um, how to edit a photo on iPhoto. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the photo you want to edit. I'll just click on this one. Then what you're going to want to do is click edit. And you can have simple th things right at the bottom. You can rotate, which of course this was the right way so I don't need to. You can crop an image by just moving it around. Then you click apply, which I don't want to do it too much. And and then you can straighten it in case it's crooked just by moving it left or right. And now the simple button enhance works great. All you have to do is click it and it'll enhance your photo. Sometimes it's not the way you want it, so you can always undo it. And there's no people in my picture, but of course, red eye, it gets rid of red eye from a flash on a camera. Pretty simple to use. And then retouch. This is for well, you can use it if you want to get rid of pimples or anything in a picture. All you do is drag it, and it kind of blurs and smooths it out. And then, of course, we have effects, which you can, of course, add black and white, this, this. Now, fade color. There's some effects if you click them more than once. See, it goes up. Now it's at 2, so it's fading the color. And you can, of course, go back to the original. You can boost color. She can do several times. And you can mate so you get around the edges. Mat, I mean. Um, and then you can keep doing it until it gets farther in. Add black, add blur, do it a couple times. And then of course you have the adjust panel. Now, most of the times enhance is good enough, but sometimes you need to go a little farther. You can change the exposure, the contrast, which and saturation. You can do all this. Definition. Now I find that I usually don't touch any of these except sharpness. But they all work. And it really helps bring out your picture. You can change the temperature, which I find usually just makes it look really weird colored. And of course you could change the tint. But at any time if you mess up your picture, all you have to do is when you're on your picture, I'll click done. Because that's what you would do when you're done. And when you're on your picture, you click it once, you go to photo, revert to original, and it asks you do you want to, all changes will be lost. Click OK. And it'll go back to the original like nothing ever happened. So you don't have to worry about messing up a picture and then losing it forever. So this is my tutorial on how to edit an iPhoto. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.